You done, Skyworm? <laughs> so anyhow, what I'd like to start off with is, this day I did not know this, but the area where this entire thing happened was underneath a, I believe, flight to enhanced risk. And I didn't know that, we also had a 5 to 10% chance of tornadoes, a 30 to 15% wind damage and wind, and the same thing for large hail. Let's get right into it though. So, I was having an all nice day on May 28th, 2019, and then, right when I was getting ready to go to bed, Storm Shield gave me a tornado watch, which is that one alert thing that's down at the bottom right, no, not the bottom left corner. So I looked at the radar and I saw this in Indiana. This storm wasn't too large then. So you can see around this area there's an SVR and mainly just tornado watches. I was like, alright, I'll hit us tomorrow. That was probably the largest mistake I have ever made. Look what's right down here. Dayton. And as far as I can tell, there's already a 20 warning in that part. I was heading straight for Dayton. Luckily, I'm not from Dayton. Or in Dayton. So, I just went on with my night. Then, I see this. No, it wasn't this originally. I had seen a tornado warning for, um... For uh, Montgomery County that had a confirmed tornado in it, it was heading straight for my county. And I got this. There was a tornado producing storm located five miles north of Xenia. If you didn't know what this is, Kill Care is a drag strip and racetrack that is just to the east of, no, it's just to the east of Xenia. And it's in between Xenia and Beaver Creek, but yeah. And look right here. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. And I was like, Oh, Zena's getting hit a third time in the last century. Yeah. And later on, it actually happened. A tornado warning was put out for my county, but I wasn't there at this time. So, so yes, I did have a bad feeling about this storm. That's where I get my advice. I say trust your guts when it comes to severe weather. Well, this is why. This was at 11.31 p.m. A little bit before this, actually probably about an hour or two, a tornado emergency was put out for Dayton and Montgomery County in general. That, we'll later find out what the number is, like a few days later or something. Let me continue on. They had Clark, Count, Green, and Madison got another one. Guess what? I think this is a copy. Wait, nope, it ain't. See, this is how I was 27. This was at 1118. So, yeah. The other 20 warning was put out for. Yeah, I know. Never mind. <laughs> And yeah, I made this. This was the same thing. Perhaps. Then, next thing I know, shut up, Skyworn. We get it. Apparently, we don't. Calm down, Skyworn. Okay, anyhow. And then, it was put out for my county. Not including my location, thank god. And at this time, I was about ready to fall asleep. And then, the Toyota Sign for the outskirts of the town right next to me started going off. I was like, oh crap. So I look up my WR120. It was going off for a tornado warning. Well, I had on display mode and also. I, it wasn't even for my location. 
Otherwise, I would have heard a different siren sound. But yeah. And I didn't catch it either. This was before my channel was even made. My channel was made in August. Actually, no. June. No, it was July. It was July. This storm happened in May. Yeah. Luckily, it was only a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. Which was good. At least it wasn't destroying me. And in here. I said it was the stupidest move ever. They had even put out a tornado watch. By a county. That I was in. And I said the same thing over again. Yeah, that was fun. And then. It was that. Now I want to talk about what happened that next morning. It was assessed. A if what I think it was had happened in a different city in my county. It wasn't the county I was in, luckily. And yeah, update. The storm completely missed the county I was in. I knew that wasn't normal. I knew that wasn't going to happen anyways. I went to bed about 1 o'clock that day. I'm covered here. What was worse was... About three days, I was going on a trip. I might have just ruined my schedule. Oh well, I was still able to wake up at like 5 a.m. in the morning. Oh well. At that 5 a.m. in the morning, Storm Radar told me there was a confirmed tornado. In Circleville. And then, about five days later, when I was on my vacation, it was confirmed. The tornado that caused a tornado emergency in Montgomery County was an EF4. Which is a very bad situation. If you thought the PDS. That happened. The EF3 that happened. In Nashville. Was a pretty bad thing. EF4 is like 10 times worse. And yes. Dayton is a large town too. We're going to be a tornado emergency. People are probably going to be in panic. We're going to get shut there. They ain't staying out. Skyline Sky will be. 500 times the static if I had the Bearcat then. Yeah. So, that was also the beaten record. Well, no, it was tied with the record for most amount of tornadoes that happened in Ohio ever. Period. It uh, The original record was 21. It hit 21. There was a debate over if there was 19 tornadoes or 21 tornadoes. There was 21. Confirmed. And no, the tornado didn't hit Xenia. So yeah. That is my little talk. Always trust you guys when it comes to these weathers like storms like this. You have a feeling that there's going to pro probably going to produce tornadoes and stuff in your county. Take steps to prepare for that. Because it might happen. I thought this would be a bad storm and I was correct. This was a horrible storm. There was some fatalities in the storm, sadly. One person did not hear the sirens or anything and died from the tornado. And there was also a few semis that had tip been tipped over in the Love's parking lot in Circleville. No damage to the building. But yeah. That shall be it for me. Stay tuned for this season. Who knows if this could happen again. Who knows if that could be the real Rising Storm 1. See you guys later. Bye.